Yeah, I can just tell you I'm extremely happy, uh, not only because of these last two weeks, but because of how difficult this year it's been so far. You know, as I said on the radio, a bit of a roller coaster. You start the year with the uh, bad news of the non-renewal and a bit thinking, okay, what's next uh, in my life? Uh, and then you prepare yourself, you go training, you do your winter testing, you arrive to the first race and boom, uh, a good podium that sets the season going, gets the season going, and then suddenly the appendix, the, um, the unknown of when am I going to be back, am I going to be back in full form, uh, how long it's going to take me to, to get back up to speed and, and confident, and then suddenly you come back and win. <laughs> First and second was the best we could do this weekend, so on that I'm very happy on my own performance. I'm not extremely happy in qualifying, I didn't do a great job, I was starting further back than what I would have hoped for. Uh, in the race my second stint wasn't great, I had a lot of front graining, my last stint was really good but that was too late to uh, to do anything and, and Carlos has been on it the whole weekend so uh, congratulations to him he deserves it. Probably wasn't expecting to have the pace we did today I think we expected good pace but maybe not to, to keep up with Charles and honestly I would say our pace was probably a bit better than Charles today they undercut us uh, they got the upper hand on this one so maybe we kind of can review uh, our decisions and, and what we tried to achieve but uh, you're always in a tricky spot when you're in, in this position yeah, I think definitely we we were a bit quicker than we expected. Um, yeah, when we, we could hang with the Ferraris, that was uh, a positive surprise. And obviously Max went out early, but um, yeah, was surprised Checo wasn't a bit quicker. So um, yeah, good result, happy with that. And uh, I think you know the fact that we were able to stay pretty close to Ferrari was a, a great sign. Uh, we just struggled to put the the car in the window. I think. Uh, the first stint, I was very, really limited. The, um, we were trying to protect the front, but we overdid it. And, uh, and then going on to the second and third stint, we just decked off the, that front left tire, which, uh, yeah, it wasn't ideal, unfortunately. Yeah, it was obviously a very difficult weekend for us in terms of pace. So, yeah, the race, we were lucky with the safety car at the beginning with Luis, and then uh, um, the pit stops were, were great as well, so thanks to the strategy and a little bit of luck, obviously we maximized the points, but uh, we cannot forget that the, the, the pace was difficult the whole weekend. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, a pretty lonely race, but uh, good to pick up some points. The pace was there uh, from already from the last two races. I would say for sure this race was probably probably the best out of, uh, out of three. Um, so, yeah, also we, we will check the reason why we were performing well here and um, hopefully also we can continue like this performing uh, also next race and so on. Yeah. Obviously first VSC helped me, you know, uh, it was a cheap stop, but then two times it was quite practical. After both of my stop I came out and kind of, it's quite, you know, awkward for the car that's on track when a car comes out of the pit lane because we sort of park it, you know, and the closing speed is very big. And the uh, first time I kind of overtook Daniel that way and the second time I took Alex that way. And I'm sure they were both pretty, uh, yeah, unhappy about that, but you know that kind of made our race today, and that together with the VSC and everything and the teamwork, so uh, very happy. It's good. I mean, we got po both cars in the points. Good teamwork once again. Um, obviously, it didn't help me with the virtual safety car, the first one, but uh, on the flip side, it helped Nico, so we could, uh, you know, get him back in the battle. And uh, fantastic uh, day for us to uh, to get three points here um, after qualifying. You know, decent but not not great. Um, just super happy with today. A bit disappointed. I, I don't think we had the pace today, and, and we were kind of falling away from the group we were racing. So we kept pitting early to keep us in the mix, um, get on some fresh tyres, and try and close the gap again. And by the end of the race, the last ten laps, it it, it paid our price, and, and we uh, we dropped back. So um, frustrating. I just struggled with the tyres, um, graining and. Um, couldn't drive as quickly as other people without grading the size. Yeah, I, I kind of knew that what's done is done and try to make the most of today. And even, uh, obviously it's nice that I there was moments in the race where I did have pace and I was able to show, okay, I can still get some good stints in there. But um, it was still good to get the laps. And yeah, there's, there's things through the race where I'll um, mark, like we have, uh, we have, let's say a button on the wheel that I can like use as a reference to say, oh, that lap I felt something there. So, you know, like there was, um, I'm not giving away secret information, but it's just uh, things so I remember to tell the engineers after. So 
there's a few points through the through the race that I marked, let's say, and yeah, so it's good. It's good to get the the understanding, the data gathering, and all that. Um, obviously, the weekend I would have loved to have gone better. But. We started 17th, finished 13th. We tried with the strategy, tried to put ourselves in a at some stage of the race in a decent position in case there is any red flag, and uh, we in a way feel like we. We did uh, the best we uh, the best we could with the package we had, but uh, you know we were just talking about it. Last year I was fighting with Carlos for P4. This year he wins the race and we're fighting in 13th. It's, it's not great. Obviously we know we have work to do on those, and um, yeah, it's, it's frustrating because it's. I think we had a good pace, good start. Should have ideally got points today with the performance we had. So yeah, it's, it's tough, but. Um, yeah, we, we obviously haven't haven't solved the issues yet we have, so that's what we need to uh, keep working on. Actually, we was together with the, the guys, the pace, and I think uh, besides from that, we had a, let's say a better pace compared to the Alpines, like we expected. And then starting at the back of the train is difficult to just gain positions. Everybody is in the IS train and uh, was tricky to overtake, but pace was, pace was okay in general, like we expected, but nothing surprisingly bad or more. We were running on for possible points uh, today. We were in front of uh, of Kevin. We were fighting with Alex. I was in front of uh, of Nico as well. So you know we were going to be in the mix. You know for that 9, 10, 11 position, um, it was going to be a fun race. But unfortunately, cut short uh, with that issue with the tear off. Yeah, I'm okay. Um, really don't know what happened. To be honest, I was half a second behind Fernando on the entry of the corner, and then suddenly. You know, before the apex, I was right in his gearbox and um, and lost the car, ran wide, and um, just unfortunately the wall was well, ran wide, hit the wall, and then it was obviously a dramatic um, few seconds after that. But yeah, disappointing end to uh, a, a difficult race. Uh, well, I didn't feel it. it; it just went in one go. I didn't feel it coming. Um, definitely frustrating because you know it was so early in the race. You still. I was hoping to be able to, to progress forwards and um, on a different strategy to everyone. And, um, but these things happen. In the car, from my side, already when I had that moment in turn three, it was very weird why that happened because you weren't really pushing, you're just easing into the race, you know, settling in. But um, of course, once I got out of the car, you look into the data, and um, basically what happened was from the, from the, when the lights went off, uh, the right rear brake stuck on. And um, yeah, it didn't cool. So it just kept on being warmer and warmer, giving me really weird instabilities. And then of course it caught fire. 